research right here in Utah, Utah State University. Ground zero for research. The goal to uh, help Utah become one of the leading growers of hemp for medicinal CBD oil. But to get there, you need qualified growers who understand the complex plant. ABC4 senior medical correspondent Surrey Chin continues the story tonight with why this research is so important. We're getting an exclusive look at the process of researching and growing high quality hemp. Last night, we showed you the USU professor behind researching the best hemp plant. Today, we introduced the grower poised to help farmers mass produce that best variety plant and become the best in the nation in industrial hemp production. These are the little petunia starts. And you can see them here. Brian Gold of Pinea Greenhouse in Ogden is the largest regional supplier of spring annuals and perennials for Costco and Lowe's. In this house here, we produce young plants and seedlings. So first of all, let's uh, look at the hemp plants here. Today, he's giving us a look at his newest crop. These are a variety that are... Uh, high in CBD oil and uh, low in THC. Pinea runs a high-tech operation. Attention to detail, especially in light management. We just replaced all of our high-pressure sodium lights. Gold is applying those practices to growing hemp. So we'll get a thicker plant, a more vigorous plant, using this additional light. Each plant is attached to a little bag filled with beneficial bugs. It's where we can't spray these plants with any insecticides or anything like this. These insects are predator insects, so mites or drip or anything else come in here, these beneficial insects will feed on them. These plants here have just been freshly planted. Gold has partnered with USU professors Brian Bugby and Bill Doucette to bring the most desirable hemp plant for mass production. That's what the great agricultural universities of the United States do. It's optimized the yield and quality. Dr. Bugby is researching the physiology of hemp and streamlining best practices to grow the complicated cannabis plant. Yeah, 12 hours of dark needs to sleep a long time. They're only interested in the female plant because of the flower, which contains CBD oil. If we don't let it sleep, if we keep long days, it will never flower. Which would render the hemp useless. When the plant starts to lose chlorophyll, then it's, then it's done. After time in the plant chamber, the hemp flowers are harvested. They're not called marijuana plants. If we had, but they look the same, and we run a test and these don't have THC. To make sure that's true, flower clippings are taken from Bugby's crop lab to Dr. Doucette's water lab to be crushed and analyzed, ensuring for legal purposes the plant doesn't reach a certain level of THC, the compound that gets you high. So far, the THC levels are below the 0.3 percent, so really good that news. is good news. Brian Gold and his team at Pinea are using their expertise, knowledge, and quality control to grow the optimum hemp plant that will eventually be sold to farmers. All of this work, hopefully for a big payoff in our community, mankind, and to keep Utah, what Gold says, a clean state, meaning there's no legal recreational cannabis to ruin the crops. Because you could get somebody sloppy out there that's growing male plants and they could potentially cross-pollinate. Even if you're four or five or 10 miles away, if you've got a male plant that's gonna pollinate these, it significantly reduces the CBD value in the crops. So instead of having, say, 10 to 13% CBD, you can drop into the 2% range. Researcher and growers can guarantee they're dealing with only female plants by what's called clonal propagation. The clone planting in the field is just exploding right now. A handful of agricultural universities have done research, but what they don't have is the combination of expertise. Bruce Bugby is one of the leading plant physiologists in the whole world. With technology and working in a clean state. And that's because a new federal farm bill last December made researching hemp legal. So growers from other parts of the United States said we would like to fund you to study this crop, but we couldn't take their money. In this crop, with the same amount of work, we'll triple the yield of this and, and the quality. So it, that's what makes it really exciting. 
Exchanging information is the idea behind getting a higher quality and return on these crops to hopefully help rejuvenate struggling farms and improve medicine. Sarah Chin, ABC4 News.